Okay guys, so today I'm here with a bit of a tutorial video, I guess, and uh, whatnot, and yeah, you can see my awesome background. But this tutorial video is going to be on how I edit my uh, Blaze Black and Platinum videos to get the uh, top screen and the bottom, uh, bottom screen where they are. I've been getting a few uh, PMs and uh, comments asking me how I do that, so this video is going to be me showing you guys how to do that. So what I use basically to record and uh, edit my stuff is Camtasia 8 for the editing and the Camtasia recorder for recording my screen and whatnot. Okay, so, before I actually do anything, I'm just gonna say I'm, this is not a tutorial on how to actually, you know, use Camtasia. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is the timeline where you put, like, the video stuff and whatnot and sidebars and all that. It'll appear right here, and, yeah, let's import some stuff. So, let's go here to import data. This is my, uh, Blaze Black folder, so, since we're here, might as well use that. Uh, today I uploaded part 10, so let's edit part 11, why not? So when you import it, it'll appear right here. When I record my uh, Blaze Black and Platinum, uh, I do it like this way, the horizontal way, I believe. Yeah, wow, I don't know, horizontal or vertical, wow. But yeah, I use the uh, horizontal way and whatnot, so I also gotta edit these dimensions right here, just to my liking. I always go by 640 by 360. Alright, that's how I do it, then I just... Camtasia 8 is a lot better than 7 in my opinion, it's just really amazing. You can just go right here and uh, move all the stuff that you want. Uh, but yeah, um, you just move the uh, video stuff and put it right here into the timeline. And I believe this right here is my audio as opposed to this being my... Uh, what's it called? In-game audio, so I usually up the in-game audio just a tad, so it's actually... Vis or hearing, you can actually hear it and whatnot. So I'm just gonna listen to this for a second, then, uh... Okay, so once you have everything, like all your... how you want your audio from, uh, when you synced it all up so that you can hear both your audio, your commentary, and your actual game audio and whatnot. So just make sure all of that's good. This how long is this part? This part is uh, almost. Oh, it's 22 minutes. Wow, that was a long episode. But anyways, what I do next is I go here to zoom and pan. Then I grab this. Then I just make it so it's nice and straight right there. All right, right here. So I only have. Yeah, this is spoilers for the next part. <laughs> I would not watch this, but oh well. Um, this is all for. Uh, the top screen, just the top screen, make sure you only have the top screen. And so what you're gonna do next is go to produce and share, and what I normally do is go to custom production settings. Next, I usually make a, a WMV. Next, 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 next. Untitled, uh, since this is part 11, I just put like 11.1 .1 just so I know that it's the top part only. And then you go to finish. Alright, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to be rendering the top part of what I recorded, so that'll take a while, so I'm just gonna pause until it's actually all the way up to 100. Okay, so I'm back, and holy crap, that actually took a little bit longer than it normally does, probably because I'm recording and rendering, so yeah. But, right now, it's about to reach 100%, and in about 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and there we go, 100%. So, when that is all done, just click X right here, and let me just show you. Uh, where was it? Right here. This is the folder that I just made. This will be the top part. I probably should have named that top, but oh well. And uh, let's go right here, and let's see. Go to zoom and pan. Now, what you're going to do next is, get away from that, make this again the same size it was before you started rendering. So it's like this. You have both sides. Now what you're going to do is get this side right here and drag it so that you only have, so you can only see the bottom half right here. So you see, all you see is the bottom half, like when I'm using my moves, looking at my Pokemon, going through the bottom, yada yada yada, etc, etc. Okay, so what you're going to do next is, you're going to render this part as well. Do that, keep the same. The settings for the WMV, that should stay the same, same, same. And I usually call this part, uh, whatever part number it is, 0.2, because that makes, that helps me know that it's the bottom half. So now, you're going to be rendering the bottom part as well. This might take a while for me, just because I'm a... Uh, Recording and uh, rendering and whatnot. So I'm going to pause this and meet you guys back after it has actually made it to 100% again. So yeah. 
Okay, and I'm back. It's uh, about to completely finish and done and be done with all that rendering. And there we go. All right. So 100% for the bottom. Now what I normally do is just open a new project, or not open a new project, just make a new project. Sorry about that. And uh, save changes. No, I usually just go with no. And now what I do is import media. This part now is going to be the actual me editing. So this is basically how I do everything. So first of all, I'm going to be needing the uh, actual sidebars, uh, oh wow, why do I have two? We'll go with these. And import media. Alright, the 11.1 .1 is the top half, so just keep clicking until you get the actual video. I'll get to the video itself in a second, so now the other folder that we made for the bottom half, just get that as well. And also, lastly, you can't forget, uh, let's see here. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Because in this plat in this platinum uh, folder is where I keep my intro and whatnot. So at the timeline, the intro, why not? Um, the dimensions I use are the standard YouTube 1280 by 720 for HD, and uh, the video of this the intro isn't that big, so we'll just fill in the black bars so that there are no black bars. And then we're going to be adding the uh, sidebars. So let's see. Yes, indeed, these are the sidebars that I use. Let's make this bigger. Actually, I want this over here. And now, uh, I mean, this just click yes on that. Doesn't really matter. Now, let me just make this smaller. Um, and as for the sidebars, I made those on the, in a Photoshop uh, CS6. So, not really gonna show off in this uh, video how I made them, but that's how I where I made them and whatnot. So, now then, here, bleh, bleh. That was myself. But anyways, up here. I have the actual video. This is the top screen. So what we want to do now is just line it up in the box that you have, or I have in this case, made for the specifically for the top video. I'm not going to try and center it. It's actually came out pretty bad. I want to make this as nice as possible to fill in the black. And that's not coming out that well, but I usually zoom in and take my time with this. Just zoom in. Get as close as you can, um, that might be actually a little too much, I'm actually kind of trying to do this, but not, just for the sake of tutorialness. But anyways, other than that, over here back in your, uh, whatever this is called, uh, next, you'll do this again, the same thing, just add it to the timeline, just say yes when that appears. Uh, what I normally do is I separate the video from audio from the second part, just because I don't use the audio. Okay, I uh, just had to cut out there, for some reason Camtasia just completely shut down on me, but what I was going to say is, uh, I normally separate the audio from the uh, video itself on the second uh, video itself, just like that. I get paranoid. This is just something personal. I just get kind of paranoid that it would echo if I have both audios. But other than that, when we have the second video, we just make this smaller. And we fit it right here into this little box, the second one that you would have if you made like custom sidebars. And uh, this one's a little bit more annoying for me because it uh, doesn't line up as well as the top one does from time to time. Just do it like that, do it like so. Uh, that does not look right. Make sure you cover it all up, that way it's as little uh, dark as uh, possible. I guess would be the best way to say this. So just nitpick with that. Uh, I can be uh, I can be a kind of picky with this, just so it comes out good, because I'm going to actually render this, and uh, this will be what you guys are going to see uh, whenever I... Uh, Probably upload this specific part on uh, Monday, the uh, whenever Monday is, I think it's the 10th. Alright, but that looks fine to me. Uh, hopefully that looks fine. When I render it, it should. But other than that, what I normally also do is uh, get my desktop, go back to here, get the, uh, let's see, get this, all the Pokemon that I use, and don't need that. Uh, let's see here, what else? Who else is my team? Because I actually can't even remember it right now. Uh, oh yeah. I get now what would be considered callouts. Uh, these are the Pokemon that are on my team at the time of uh, this specific video. So try not to actually spoil too much since the video isn't actually out. But that's pretty much my team, so... Now just add the timeline, like we did with all the others. Just make this big. Uh, like so... All the way. That way is this entire uh, semi sphere right here stays. I had to expand this so that this one image stays throughout the entire video. And we are going to put him right here. 
this is how you see the Pokemon appear up here. Uh, kind of a little tutorial mini on uh, callouts and whatnot for Camtasia, but oh well. And now we do the same for Conkeldur. We expand this. We just stretch him out a bit. Just a tiny smidge so he actually fits into the uh, box. And finally, our third and last Pokemon, Murkrow. We do this. Uh, if you want to get sprites, you can just Google them. I got most of these from Google Images. And that should be... That's actually a little too big, I, I think. And... Still a little too big. Wow. Okay. But, other than that, since this part I didn't really do much, I didn't get a gym badge or anything, I just explored, I'm pretty sure, I can't actually remember, but that's pretty much how I edit my sidebars, so that I have the top part right here on its own, and it's nicely separated from the bottom part, and the bottom part is right here. And sidebars themselves, I made these uh, in Photoshop, like I said. Um, other than that, that's how I edit my sidebars, that's how I get the top part and the bottom part separated. I get I get a couple of people always asking me how do I do this, how do I do that, and whatnot. This is how I do it, it works, it really does. Uh, you probably want to have a pretty decent computer though to do this, because uh, that's quite a bit of rendering, but for me in total it takes about uh, a little less than an hour actually, even after I start rendering this part, which is actually a lot bigger of a file, so it would take a bit more time, but still. Under an hour if you have a decent computer, I would say. Uh, other than that, I don't normally say this in any of my videos, but uh, if you like this, give it a like and whatnot. And I only say that just so other people can watch this and don't have to keep asking me. This is, this, it just helps me like that. And it helps you guys. So, and also one other thing, um, if you guys like this kind of a tutorial thing, I might do more. But if you have any suggestions on what you would want to see a tutorial on, just tell me. And if I actually know how to do it, then I'll do it. Um, like, uh, I guess a sidebar tutorial I could do if people wanted me to. But other than that, thank you for watching. This is how I do it. And now what I'm going to do is actually produce and share. And show you how I finish off producing uh, and rendering my last video. I go to MP4 only, up to 720p. I go to next, and I just call this part. So I think it's, yeah, part 11. And then I click finish. And that's pretty much it. It's going to start rendering. It's going to take its sweet time, because this is a bigger file. This will take a bit longer, but... Yeah, that's how I do it, so until next time, uh, tomorrow, which would be Sunday, I'll be uploading Platinum version, Monday I'll be uploading this part that I'm rendering right now for Blaze Black. So, until then, see you guys tomorrow.